this is Coffee Dwell and Co Coffee Dwell's Farm. I'm gonna trip over that and for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have the sealed envelope. I never noticed the lip flaps before on Grandpa. Oh, that's really sad. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Listen close. Can you hear me in the, in the viewers? Please let me know, because I fiddled with it for like five minutes. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern... It, I'm, I'm here. It's uh, right here. I'm crushed. I'm very, very, very empty. <sighs> when that happens, my dear, he'll be ready for this gift. I got you a copy of Stardew Valley! Keep my cup. That it's not coffee. That's not coffee at all. Dear Coffee Dwarf, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Dwarfland Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. 
Grandpa Dwelfy. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, you tell that bastard to pay me back. Everybody's been asking about you. Not every day someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. What is this voice I'm giving Lewis? I'll figure it out. Don't worry. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Good house. Very rustic. I think you mean crustic. Yeah, that's what I said, Robin. trying to make you dissatisfied so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> we all must exist in capitalism, Lewis. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Sounds good, would appreciate that. I seriously have no idea what voice I'm giving Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night and collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, progress has been saved. Alright, got the parsnip seeds. And changing the menu to how I like. Much better. Much better. I see a female within my scrying mold. Shot of knowledge from the future. Spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Sweet. So, there isn't really a major goal of this farm or this playthrough. I just kind of want to uh, have a relaxing, chill experience. And uh, yeah, there will be a little bit of a focus on coffee. I'm going to try to get that coffee as early as I can. Not because of like it values like a mega crop or anything. I, I couldn't really care less. I just
see if I can get 2,000 gold by Friday or Sunday. And if they happen to have coffee, then that works out pretty well for me. Probably do quite a bit of fishing. I've been a big fan of Stardew Valley for the last, oh gosh, almost five years now? Just about. I uh, first picked up a copy of the game in like 2016 for like the PS3, I want to I wanna say. I think that's right. Oh, nice. Got a head start on the... Stardew Valley pretty much that whole time. I have it on, right now I have it on PS4, uh, Switch, Android. I have it on too many systems. It's kind of like Skyrim that way. I think what I'm going to try to do is try to keep my streams to close to about an hour as I can uh, so that I take breaks around that point and also downloading these for uh, highlights or VODs won't be the longest thing in the world. I don't exactly have an optimized equipment. Uh, I am working out quite a bit. from wild seeds? I couldn't imagine why. It's That seems silly to me, but if it's true, it's true. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. My 
perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the re residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Nice to meet you. I'm Coffee Dwell. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you wish. Hello, Granny. The writ that I'm finding forageables. I might actually level up my foraging today. No, I should have emptied it out into the chest when I had the chance, though. by myself. Welcome to come over whenever you want. Seriously. Alright, I think... Trash off. Another person. You're the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Everyone in this town is just so happy to meet another person! Oh, I can read it on your face. You're just going to love it here in Pelican Town. I really am. I think so. And if you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Yay! Hello, you must be Coffee Dwell. The new farmer. I'm Caroline. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Bye, Karen. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mom says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. I think that's the line in every RPG. Each one.
I found five of these. Fuck. Ugh. All right. Now to just offload. Ooh. Chop down trees until they run out of energy. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why I do that, but uh, when I chop down trees in Stardew Valley, when they start to fall, I'll move in the path of the falling tree. Well, not that time, I guess. Yep, leveled up my foraging, plus one axe proficiency, trees will sometimes drop seeds, new crafting recipe, wild seeds for spring, and the field snack, which is really useful actually. Alright. Hello there, I just got back from a fishing trip, you should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something to give for you. I have something for you. Willie. Can you get me some milk? What? No. I didn't say that, you're crazy. Once these parsnips finish growing, which they should be by the fourth, I can, uh, Scarecrow, which will help protect my crops from the ravages of Yugen and Yugen. Finally meet ya. Ah, uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have me own fishing rod. It's important to me to keep the art of fishing alive. And hey, Maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Da -da -da -da! You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old papa used to say anyway. Yeah. Alright, and I think the further out your hole goes in Stardew Valley, the, uh, the higher quality fish you get. So this should be the most efficient place to fish from. This might not be the most visually entertaining part of the stream, so I'm going to keep doing it anyway. 
I hope this is specifically a, a thing that you enjoy. Sunfish. Sweetie. Mm -hmm. dad jokes. Alright, to help this part of the screen go by a little faster, I have looked up 309 jokes, mm -hmm. like dad jokes. I just realized I'm going to have to uh, fish and read at the same time. I didn't think this out very well. What is fast, loud, and crunchy? Mm -hmm. A rocket ship. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? Because she was stuck. What? Really? Alright, alright. Just got a treasure chest. Occasionally in Stardew Valley, when you're fishing, a little chest icon will open up. And you'll get something fun. I mean, I just got Geo, so... Who really cares? But it was neat that I got it my second fish. Mm -hmm. All right. I actually got my little brother Carter interested in Stardew Valley because it has a fishing mechanic, and he is just 110% about fishing. Plays Fishing Planet on PlayStation 4. Uh, goes fishing every possible opportunity. Uh, he One of the things he enjoys doing to relax is to uh, set fishing lines and weights and lures and hooks and all on his pole. There we go. Ooh, flounder. Uh, it's really cool to see him enjoying something so much. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a bicycle and a well-dressed man on a tricycle? A tire. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You have to suffer, I have to suffer. Why is the clock in the buffet always wrong? It keeps going back for a second. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of a girl that only eats plants? You've probably never heard of her before. Mm -hmm. 
reading from uh, from a list of jokes in Fishing and Fairy Valley. Not as easy as I thought. My son bought a new reversible jacket. I can't wait to see how it turns out. To my uh, one live viewer who is still there after those dad jokes that I told slowly through the process of awkwardly fishing, you have my respect, but also my concern. So I wanted to make a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich today, but I need to go to the store to get a loaf of bread, but I had tortillas, like those small fajita tortillas, so I, did, I used that. Turned out pretty well. Very runny. for the day. Did make it to 5 o'clock though, on day 2, while also getting a bunch of stuff. Get that out of there. There we go. All in all, I say not too bad. You definitely have more time than energy in the first early game of Stardew Valley. Now 
nice little rainy day here. All right. Yeah. Nice. Halfway there, in the off chance that I happen to get enough gold to, to start my coffee farm. Woo! I think today we're going to go fish in the mountains. Oh, uh, a little while ago today I picked up a copy of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus for PlayStation 4. So I should be able to stream that later as well. Hope there's some interest for it. Why did the toilet paper roll downhill? Mm -hmm. Get to the bottom. Where do the bad rainbows go? They go to prison. why they didn't stack them, but okay. Slide not bad. No, no, no. No, I don't want to do it. 
what is the difference between a well-dressed man and a tired dog? The man wears a suit, and the dog just pants. You know, I rarely tell dad jokes. But when I do, he does laugh. properly and probably done fishing for today. Pretty decent haul. All I need to keep is one of the um, lowest quality of fish. So that gives me quite a bit to sell. But I am going to keep telling the dad jokes. Why did the banker quit his job? He lost interest. Which wasn't the case for the baker. He liked his job quite a bit. But, uh, unfortunately, he just couldn't get a raise. third day I think this is going to be a good point to end this stream thank you to my one viewer slash torture victim and uh, have a nice day bye